Alright, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Sinister. Uh Team RG stand up. XRG 2015. You already know we in the building. New year, new money. Be real or be gone. That's what it is. Um I'm actually do this video to actually show y'all when you're doing refrigerated, how you we know what temperatures to set on our trailers and stuff like that. So um basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all like the different uh, settings that we have and stuff like that so basically when we get in loads let me grab my paperwork uh, okay now I'm gonna cover up some info because I don't want to put that company's business out there so basically on this Paperwork. Gotta cover that. You see it? 68 degrees right here. Now, it also lets you know what type of product you're using in the bill of lading uh, section down at the bottom, like what I'm carrying and in the trailer, how much is the weight. Now, I got my trailer set to 68 degrees on continuous to keep that product. Um, cool the way it's supposed to be at the proper temperature that won't damage the product which is continuous there's two cycles cycles there's continuous and there's cycle century continuous is when the unit just constantly runs and runs and runs and runs and runs and don't shut off now cycle century is when you you set a temperature if it gets about five degrees higher than that temperature it'll crank the engine back on for the refrigerated unit and uh, turn back on the refrigerator to cool the product right back down to the the set point temperature. And the sun is just getting in all up in my lens. Hold on. Let me grab. I got to put the curtain up. Put the curtain up. So, um... That's gonna work. Yeah, go. All right. So, um, what I was saying, Psycho Century basically starts and stops the the refrigerated unit when the temperature reaches maybe I think five degrees above the set point that you got it. So if you set it at forty and the temperature hits forty five inside the trailer, the unit turns it back on turns itself back on to lower it back down to 40 and so on and so forth throughout the day which um, it doesn't burn that much fuel now continuous burns more fuel when you um running the refrigerated unit on continuous so you gotta pay attention to your bill of ladings that tells you what the product should be set at there's times where I have freight that I, I pulled in refrigerated units ain't requiring no refrigeration. So, um, I think, so me doing uh, refrigerated, I think this is the best thing that I, I can do for what I want to accomplish in life and constantly keep moving because I've been moving since I've been here at night from April to the end of December of 2014. I finished last year with 75,301 miles and I'm still counting so um, that's not even adding this 2000 that I'm sitting on right now so uh, I'll get a new update Monday from uh, my dispatcher and stuff like that so uh, basically um, who was it oh it was my boy Ken Big shout out to Ken. I, I I've been sitting here and I've been I've been wanting to mention this for a minute and I always forget, but I ain't gonna forget about my boy Ken. My boy Ken was the first person on YouTube that I started watching. He used to be at Warner. Yo, Ken, if you watching YouTube and you still doing your thing, man, thank you, thank you, because Ken was the first one to say this. 
refrigerated people got to eat. That freight constantly moves. I think that's, I think he's, I think it goes, I think his YouTube is how to truck 101. I'm going to double check, but I want to give a big shout out to my boy Ken. And he used to be at Warner and stuff like that. Yo, Ken, man, if you watch me, hit me up at uh, Mr. Sinister, the trucker at gmail.com. Hit me with your number, man. I need to talk to you. I just want to say thank you personally to you over the phone. Um, big shout out. I, I, I'll give some shout outs to other people I'm going to pay homage to. So I got to do a homage. I got to do a video to those who inspired me to do what I'm doing now and gave me the knowledge that I know for me to be able to come back and give y'all the knowledge. So, All right. So anyway, here's we carry beer and refrigerated. Uh, blueberries, blackberries, bread, broccoli, butter, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, cheese, cherries, coffee creamer, cookies, corn, cranberry, cucumbers, dairy products, dry loads, eggplant, eggs, empty wine bottles, fresh cut flowers. I don't have a flower load from California that I had to take to Minnesota and Wisconsin. Um, fresh meat. Um, live flowers, bagel bites, uh, frozen bag vegetables, bakery goods, cookie dough, frozen french fries, frozen fruits, frozen hash browns. I got the whole list right here. You see that? The low temperature, the high temperature, and the running mode. The running mode, what I said, continuous. That's when the reefer unit continues to run. Let me put my sun up, put a little more light up in here. Um... When the unit continuously runs and cycle centuries when it comes on, cuts off. Comes on, cuts off. Cycle centuries what? When it comes on and cuts off at a certain temperature. Um, let me see. Frozen juice, frozen meat, frozen pizza, garlic, grapefruit, juice, um, ice cream, icing, uh, kiwi fruit, lemons, lettuce, limes, live bees. Did I say live bees? You know, zzz, live bees? Pete Gang. Pete this. Live bees. Run it up. <laughs> That's why my boy, you got me in the freezer? You got my cousins in there. <laughs> so, uh, lunch meat. Mars candy. Mushrooms. Onions. Oranges. Papayas. Peaches. Pears. Peppers, pineapple, plums, potato chips, potato salad, potatoes. Um, pumpkins, relish, raspberries, salad mixes, shrimp, soda, sour cream, spinach, sprouts, strawberries, sweet potatoes, tomatoes, turnips, water, watermelon, uh, watermelon, <laughs> watermelon, yogurt. Look at that. Page one. Look. Page one. Page two. Page three. Worth of freight. Worth of freight. Worth of freight. Um. Now that I'm speaking about that I'm gonna put right here at the end of this video. Um, everybody know I'm going to lease purchase next year, 2016, and um, basically this is my goal. Um, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna get my truck paid off. I'm going to pay my truck off. I already own it. They just don't know it yet. I'm putting it out there. Um, I'm gonna buy my first truck. Then I'm going to stack up. I'm going to get a second truck. I'm going to train somebody to drive the truck, the, my second truck. And then once I get my second truck, I'm going to train somebody else, put them in the third truck. And then I'm actually going to build my fleet here at night. Everything is going to be refrigerated. So in the future, I'm going, I got a few more months to go of being an employee to being the employer. So I'm going to be hiring people and having them 
work with me to build my fleet. And if they want to learn how to build their fleet, I'll help them and I'll give them the knowledge and I'll show them how to build their fleet. You know, so for all of my Team RG members and everybody out there in the future, my goal is to build my fleet here, pull and refrigerate it for night. I already got papers. I got the paperwork and everything. So um, I'm looking forward to that. I'm excited. I can't wait. I just want to thank God for that opportunity he's about to bless me with. And um, I'm just going to build my fleet and... We just gonna we gonna do we gonna do we gonna do what we gotta do to make sure that we live right, we eat right. So that's my goal. So um Yes, people say don't do lease purchase, but you know what? I have to take that stuff out on faith and believe in what I know and what I've learned and how night done been treating me. I, I've been constantly moving my term new. Yeah, we had a little mishap situation, but you know what? That's old. I ain't going to drill on that. It's over. I still got love for my dispatcher. We back to normal. We better than we was the first time. You know what I mean? It was like we lost the Super Bowl. Now we back for a new year and we running hard. So they got the big, 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 big shout out to my boy Marty. Uh, keeping me moving, keeping me rolling. Um, so, uh. That's the plan for your boy Sinister in the future, is to build his own fleet. So, everybody just know, in the future, I'm going to be looking for the riders. You know, looking for them riders. Got to be committed and dedicated to excellence. Al Davis, rest in peace. You already know. Um, so, that's it. I'll come back at y'all again with another video. I'm just trying to crank them out. Um, but again, big shout out to my boy Ken, how to truck, how to do trucking 101. I think that's what it is. I'm going to double check that. I'm going to try to do the video. My laptop is kind of messed up, um, the operating system. So I can't really design new Team RG shirts yet, but, um, I'm working on it. Um, big shout out to Tamara and Clam and everybody over there at KLLM doing the damn thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Grinding. Hey, what Puffy you always say? Can't stop, won't stop. Uh, 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 uh. Take that. It's your boy Sinister. Be real or be gone. That's how we rolling. 2015 XRG in the building. Peace out.